Hello, dear parents. Topic for today is diarrhea in your child. Today, we'll understand what are the causes, what are the red flag signs, what can you do at home, and we'll do some myth busting. So, first of all, what diarrhea is? Diarrhea means if your child is passing more than three episodes of watery stools in a day. Let's understand that diarrhea is one of the most common causes for you to come to a hospital. Maybe get hospitalized. It is known to cause lot of malnutrition if it is occurring frequently. Sometimes it is also known to cause risks to life. So please understand keenly. Most of the time children can have about two to three episodes of diarrhea in a year. This is more common in the younger children and it comes down with age. Let's understand that there are some times when parents feel that this is a diarrhea but it is actually not. So many times some kids pass formed stools every time after they go after they have lunch or dinner. This is something called as a exaggerated gastrocolic reflex and it is not considered diarrhea unless it is watery. Sometimes breastfed babies can pass small quantity of stools every time after feeding. Unless it is wat watery, it is also not considered as diarrhea. Please also understand that sometimes even one episode of a very large quantity of watery stool may cause dehydration in a child. So it is a topic which needs your attention. So please be careful. Let's understand that sometimes when the child is having diarrhea, the child might get dehydrated. How common is it? It is seen that around 90% of diarrheas do not cause any dehydration. 8 to 9% cause some amount of dehydration, while in 1 to 2% kids, it might cause severe dehydration. Normally, diarrhea goes on for a duration of three to seven days. Now, let's try to understand what are the causes of diarrhea. We have seen that most of our kids keep on putting things in their mouth. By putting things in their mouth, they are introducing germs, which could be the cause of diarrhea. Again, we have seen that as the kids grow, if they are not drinking clean or water which is purified, this is one of the most common cause of diarrhea in children. It is seen that sometimes when formula feeds are introduced, it is known to cause diarrhea. So also diarrhea may be caused due to eating junk foods, eating food in stalls, sometimes drinking unpasteurized milk, undercooked meat, raw eggs and so and so forth. So the causes are numerous. What you have to understand is poor hygiene and unclean practices are all the major causes of your diarrhea. Now, having understood what diarrhea is and what are the causes, let's try to understand what are some of the major or risk factors or called the red flag signs for diarrhea. Please understand dear parents, if your child has a fever of more than 102 degrees Celsius with diarrhea, it is dangerous. If he is passing blood in the stool, again it is a high risk feature. If your child along with diarrhea becomes lethargic, he is pale or he is drowsy, it is an important red flag sign. If we have seen that he is drinking very little water, he is passing very little urine, sometimes you might observe that his eyes are going inside or in a very small child, the fontanelle or something where there is a place in the head which gets sunken may all be features of dehydration for which you have to rush to the hospital. Some other systemic features like a severe abdominal pain or a very irritable child or sometimes a severe headache may all be some of the major red flag signs which make you go to the hospital. But if your child is happy, playful, sleeping well, taking food at the right time, then
you don't have to worry then we come down to the next strategy that is home remedies that is what all our parents can do at home so that they can prevent uh, the occurrence of dehydration or go into a dangerous category now let's try to understand at home the best thing what you can do is giving your child ORS ORS is oral rehydration solution please understand dear parents this is prepared from WHO and it may be available over the counter I advise all of you to keep these sachets at home all the time if your child has started purging or he's passing liquid stools what is supposed to do is take the packet if it is a big packet please mix it in one liter of water sometimes they are available as small packets which can be given in a small cup of water now if you are using the ORS solution please make sure you are doing the right dilution because if we are doing wrong dilution then it will lead to something called as electrolyte abnormalities now we have to understand if it is prepared it has to be used only for one day make sure that you are keeping it in a lid closed that there should be no other external sources falling on the open water now having understood how to prepare it let's try to understand how frequently should we give it give it to the kids now a very simple rule of thumb is if your child is less than 2 year every time he passes a stool give him half a cup of ORS solution while if he is more than 2 years give him one cup of ORS solution please understand that this is one of the most important life saving measure which you can do at home now sometimes what happens is these kids vomit the ORS or they don't like ORS what you can do is if he has vomited you can try it once more after 10 minutes but if this keeps on happening what you can do is give an antiemetic that is ondansetron or uh, doms domperidone which are over the counter antiemetics anti vomiting syrups and try it again if he does it again for three times then you should avoid giving ORS and what you can do is you can give something called as a home based ORS what is a home based ORS in home based ORS what you can do is take a cup of water one pinch of salt is added and one fist of sugar is added this is about right preparation of a home based ORS what other liquids can we use we can use tender coconut water you could add uh, available glucon D or something like that to increase the glucose content of coconut water you can also use some amount of buttermilk or you can also use other uh, liquids which can be helpful in increasing his hydration status now after you have increased hydration status what can you do second thing comes to dietary practices so coming to the most important part of discussion please focus now understand that lot of parents have these doubts first thing is regarding breastfeeding during diarrhea please understand that you can always continue breastfeeding during diarrhea especially during the first six months of life no other ORS solution is helpful but breastfeeding is the best option as the children grow you have seen that so many doctors or mothers feel that they have to avoid breastfeeding but breastfeeding is allowed in most of kids with diarrhea in a very few select cases when diarrhea doesn't seem to stop for a very long time or diarrhea persists despite treatment some condition called as lactose intolerance is suspected during which high lactose containing breast milk or other milks are asked to be withdrawn so in most circumstances do continue but if it is not responding for a long duration time then we might have to stop breastfeeding as per the advice of the pediatrician again the next important topic is diet in during diarrhea please understand that 
very important thing is what all we can give and what to avoid in children during diarrhea. The things which can be given are low fat milk, high food which are rich in starch like potatoes, rice which are also easily digestible. Also bananas, carrots, apples are also good for the kids during diarrhea. Make sure you are giving plenty of water during diarrhea. Now things to be avoided are things which are highly oily or which are junk foods have to be really avoided. Now another important thing to be avoided is gluten containing food like wheat or oats. Also important thing to avoid is things which are spicy. Now also sometimes you might understand that legumes which can cause higher flatulence like your chana or rajma which can cause more flatulence in your kids should also be avoided. So this is about the thing of diet in children. Something called as a brat diet that is diet which is rich in bananas, rice, apples and toast is a simple diet to be practiced in kids during diarrhea. Now having understood about the diet, what all things can other things can be done at home apart from giving him ORS, breastfeeding and the right diet what you can do is some very important things called as probiotics which are also available over the counter are frequently prescribed by pediatricians which can be used to prevent diarrhea in your child. Also another important thing is something called as zinc. Zinc is very helpful in diarrhea and has to be consumed for a duration of 10 to 14 days as per the pediatrician's advice. Now so many times parents are aware of something called as an antibiotic and whether it has any role in diarrhea. Now dear parents please understand that antibiotic has very little role in diarrhea treatment. It can be used in very few select cases where there is high fever or blood in stools. In most of your diarrheas, it is a virus which is causing it and antibiotics which kill bacteria have very little role and sometimes it can also be harmful in causing something called as an antibiotic induced diarrhea. So we might understand that antibiotics can worsen your diarrhea unless indicated. So please avoid using it or self-medicating. Now the last part is can we actually prevent it or reduce the incidence of diarrhea in our children. The very few important principles are exclusive breastfeeding that is breastfeeding always helps in preventing diarrhea. Second thing is regarding the right weaning practices that is whenever you start complementary feeds that is you add newer more solid foods in your child please be focused add small quantity add a new substance one by one that is sometimes kid can develop what is called as food allergies so what our families do is they mix three or four varieties of uh, dals and rice and they prepare the food but let's introduce one food at a time a, a different video is made for that please you can watch that now Another important thing is safe drinking water. Importance of personal hygiene cannot be understressed. Then right for eating food at the right places is also very important. Another important thing is whenever you are traveling, please you can carry your own water and if you have to eat outside, please eat food which is warm or that is boiled. So these are some of the prevent uh, preventive strategies by which you can avoid diarrhea. Now, dear parents, a very important thing to understand is if these diarrheas happen again and again, it can cause malnutrition in your child. But we have to understand that after every episode of diarrhea, we should be more focused. That is, the next week after diarrhea is a week of catch up. That is, at this time, 
you have to at least increase one meal per day by which you are improving the intake of the child and also you have to give good nutri uh, nutrition that is you have to introduce food which are having high nutritious value during the week after the diarrhea so these are some of the strategies by which you can prevent diarrhea you can treat diarrhea at home and sometimes the danger features for which you have to take it to the hospital i hope this was informative and if you have liked the video please press like and subscribe to the channel thank you